Um, What's turned up? A Grey's box. A Grey's? No, you cancelled it. I've got to cancel it. <laughs> right, I'm filming, so shush. My daughter registered the need for Grey's and I've still got a bloody box of it downstairs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dad. You know, that might make the cut. Changing piercings. Industrial piercings. Today I'm going to show you how to change your industrial piercing. It's nice and straightforward. For the most part, an industrial or a scaffold piercing is not a piercing that you're really going to have to change very much because you basically don't have a huge amount of jewellery options. But there are like some funky shaped bars and stuff, so you might want to insert um, a new bar. So I'm going to show you today how to go about making that happen in your life or in your ear. <laughs> So my industrial piercing is a funny angle because my ear is a weird shape and my piercer did it through a different place. So mine's actually pierced through my conch rather than through my helix. But it's not a problem because um, it's exactly the same. It's vital that your piercing is totally healed before you change it. Um, this is true for every piercing that I will ever talk about. But I have to say in every video, make sure your piercing is healed. Otherwise, I'm, what I'm saying to you will not help you. It will make your situation worse. Often you'll find with your industrial piercing that your piercer would have screwed your ball on really, really, really tight. And if your piercing is not healed completely, it's going to hurt to get that ball off. So you're just going to have to use like all the force you have to get that ball unscrewed. So I personally unscrew the back ball. So there's a mirror there, which is why I keep looking away from you. So I'll push the bar through and have a look at it from behind. Yeah, there it is. So just grab onto your bar nice and tight and unscrew with your other hand. The ball should just come straight off. If it's screwed on super tight, you might have to use some pliers to hold the bar or maybe a tissue or something dry that's gonna give you some really good grip because your hands are actually quite smooth and sometimes kind of moist. So you're not necessarily gonna be able to get the best grip. Once you have your ball screwed off, it should look like this. There it is. And then you're just gonna pull it out in one smooth motion. This is probably not the best angle, but just pull it on out and there is your bar. You have two options when you insert your industrial. You can either insert it from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. It really isn't going to make a huge difference um, but the main thing you need to know with your industrial is if it's totally healed you will be able to get it back in. A lot of people stress about getting piercings back in. Once they get it out, they're scared they can't get it in. And the best advice I can give you is to just chill because you will definitely, definitely be able to get that piercing back in. Even if it hurts a tiny bit, if it's not necessarily completely healed, make sure it is. But if it's not for any reason, um, you're not gonna have any problems getting it back in because that is a thick, clean hole. So it's just gonna slide on it. And so have a look at your place where your hole is. So here's mine. So I've got one hole here and one hole here. So I'll take my jewellery. I'm going to insert it from the back. So I'll take my jewellery and I'll feel around for the hole. When I find the hole, just give it a little push and it will slide through. It doesn't hurt at all. There's absolutely no pain. And the next part is going to be difficult because you've got to get the angle right. So grab your bar and just have a look at where your hole is. You might not necessarily be able to see, but just kind of hope for the best. Give it a few little pokes and it will slide in. To get your ball back on is nice and easy. You just hold your bar nice and tight and screw your ball on. To be honest with you, industrials are not going to be a piercing that you find hard to change. I mean, I don't know your situation, so everybody is different. But physically, industrials are not hard to change. You might find it scary because it's a long bar and it's really big and it feels so kind of intimidating. But actually, the industrial is a nice, easy piercing to change. Cartilage piercings are generally easy because they are in a hard part of your skin, so it's hard. So if you imagine, like, if you were to punch a hole out of, like, um, a big block of wood, for example, that hole is going to be nice and easy to put, push something through because it's a nice, hard, clean hole. Whereas if you punch a hole through like a mattress, it's going to be harder to get something in it because it's squishy and it's going to kind of move. It's a bit of a weird analogy, but it gives you an idea. So don't stress about changing your industrial. You're going to be absolutely fine. If you have any questions or any problems, comment and I'll reply to you. I reply to everyone. Um, I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the future. Bye.